Hello, my name is Robert Stanton and I'm an off-Broadway actor. I have been for 31 years since I first made off-Broadway minimum in 1985. I made $250 a week. $250 a week adjusted for inflation to $2016 works out to $560 a week. Current off-Broadway minimum in 2016 is $593 a week. So that's a raise we've been given of about a dollar a year, basically a flat line. Meanwhile, the cost of living in New York City has increased exponentially. My rent alone has gone up 735% in the intervening 31 years, and I have a really good deal. New York City is the most expensive city in the country. The MIT cost of living calculator says that the bare minimum living wage for an individual in New York City is $30,000 a year thereabouts, or around $593 a week, off-Broadway minimum. But that's a subsistence wage. That's the line that separates the impoverished from the working poor. That uses the USDA low-cost food plan, so it doesn't allow for eating out in a restaurant. It doesn't allow for cable, cell phone, internet. It doesn't allow for gym membership, movie tickets, theater tickets. It doesn't allow us to save for the future. It doesn't allow us to make a capital investment, like buying a house. It, it cuts us off from many things that many Americans take for granted. It doesn't take into account the 10% that we have deducted from our paychecks every week to pay commission to our agents, or the 2.25% union dues that we pay, which is why many of my friends who work off-Broadway contracts 52 weeks a year, the most successful off-Broadway actors, end up broke, or worse, bankrupt. Now, I found ways of making it work. I've made really good deals in the rental market. I made a lot of commercials when I was starting out as a young actor. I have, through sheer dumb luck, done a lot of work in film and television, but not everyone has those opportunities available to them. Further, my MFA from New York University cost $36,000 in 1985. Students who come out of NYU now with an MFA are yoked with up to $200,000 in student loan debt. I don't know how any of them could enjoy the career that I have off-Broadway to work over 20 times uh, off-Broadway, these contracts, most recently in 2015. When I started out, I was a non-equity actor. I was frothed to Nathan Lane's Poppy and Measure for Measure, directed by public theater founder Joseph Papp. And Joe would let us go to see the matinees at the public uh, for free. And I saw a play that changed my life, that in fact saved my life, The Normal Heart by Larry Kramer. The work we do off-Broadway is important, and we should be fairly compensated for it. And that's why I'm part of a grassroots movement of over a thousand actors who are advocating for a fair wage on stage. And I hope that the public who comes to see us and the people in the administrative offices, the people in artistic leadership and management will agree that we deserve the dignity and respect of a fair wage. We love to work in these theaters. We love the work. We want to be able to afford to do it. Thank you.